Hello YTPC, uh, Steve, Three Rivers Piper. You join me down at the Ferry Tavern near the River Mersey. Wet day. Wet, damp dogs aren't even allowed in the ferry. And we just hope this person keeps the dog away from us. Because <laughs> uh, Molly's going to be in one of the... I'm smoking every more. Donegal species. There's a flake, Virginia and Burley. I smoke. Slow burning. Tends to burn all the way through. As I say on these occasions, I tend to prove things wrong. Well, what have brought you here today? Burnwood Air Base is about three and a half miles, or was three and a half miles from here. It was built in 1940 for the RAF and it was passed over to the US Air Force in 1942 where it became the largest military run airfield in Europe during the Second World War. I mentioned this because it had a big bearing on Warrington at the time. Well, it still does. Anyone that's interested, I will put a couple of links to the Heritage Centre at Burtonwood now. The old airfield's gone, covered by the M62 and a, a retail part. It's another part of the Heritage gone. Mainly it was B-17s, 29s. Even as a kid, I remember Dakotas coming in over our house. Um, landing there. I think it was up to the 90s, late 90s, before it was actually shut down as an operational airfield and uh, based. But after the war, um, still a very, you know, purposeful and important air base with um, the Cold War happening and other things around, them the Falklands. But in 1951, at this pub here, there was one young man, 20 years of age, one Eugene D. Pickering, airman, member of the softball team, and it was the 19th of May, 1951, and he and a friend, I believe, a little bit about swimming across the Mersey and back. Well, they both got to the other side, no problem. But on the way back, the young airman got into difficulties and uh, went from sight, even though his colleague and friends on the bank dove in fully clothed, one chap in particular, and they couldn't find him. So, with that date, of the 19th of May coming round, he would have been 88. Probably not just a granddad, but a great granddad. And it's poignant to think, I know I've done stupid things in my life. And I could have lost my life, and I know the people that were around me. Stupid things. You know, we, we know it all when we're 14. Definitely know what everything by the time we're 18. We never know it all. So I hope you don't mind me. I thought I would help with Molly up across the tops. And um, if anyone knows anything about the family, I've tried to do some research on him. I can't find much. There is a heritage centre at what? At Burton, well, in Warrington, the old hall area, uh, and they can't give me any more information than what I've already got. And there is a plaque inside the ferry tavern there. As you go in through the main door, turn right, and 
look on your left on the wall is a wreath and some years ago ex-US Air Force people and locals came to pay their respects and Andrew the landlord saw them asked them what they were up to they explained they were going to put the reef on the water and he said well if it's alright with you I'd be happy to display it in the pub as a tribute to that young life so there we have it hope I'm bringing anybody down um, but they were heady days when it closed the base there was over 18,000 people there 18,000 apparently in its time there have been over 70,000 people have gone through the, the base there I remember as a youngster um, my grandmother had um, uh, people there um, as lodgers and I got taken onto the base uh, as a youngster. Everything, um, incredible, we're in another world. And there were some houses built just opposite the base, and we called the tobacco houses. And they were ultra modern and were provided by the British government in lieu of tobacco. So no money changed hands. I remember we had a um, Temping bowling on there as well. First time I ever saw things like that. But they were lovely people, lovely people. Um, yeah, reminiscing. So, not that many days away from 68th anniversary of that young man losing his life. So, if you know anything or any background, please drop me a comment. Um, other than that, Fantastic, I love this weather. Love being out with Molly in this weather. Fresh, isn't it, Molly? Yeah. Well, she's down below here. They won't allow wet dogs or damp dogs in the ferry. Quite right. That wasn't the tobacco spot, it was me, Gavin. So, love you and leave you. I'll catch you again. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from Molly. The tavern. And